Okay, I'm gonna be improvising a little bit here because um, I've been developing this project uh, from recently, like for six months. But of course, uh, skateboard stickers archive. <laughs> it's back in the 80s and 90s, stickers used to be like a respected tool among mar marketeers. Um, especially within the skateboarding industry. Um, so I started skateboarding um, in the mid-90s. Uh, uh, since then I occasionally uh, hold a few stickers myself and I ended up uh, piling tons of them. So I realized that I needed to do something with that. Uh, so I started creating an archival system that uh, would be uh, either physically and digitally. So uh, basically, uh, I decided to um, classify them in a few in a few categories, categories that would make sense, as I said before, uh, on a digital archive that could be uh, accessed online. Uh, and here are some examples. Of course, um, this project aims to sort of level the the illustrators, the work that has been uh, branding, that has been giving like a, a, an image to, to skateboarding. And this is where the project lies. In between marketing, a fine arts at cold cold, because there's a lot of craft in it, and uh, of course, the skateboarding industry. It's a tough environment, because uh, usually skateboarders are broke, they have no money. Uh, and in order to keep the project going, you need resources. Uh, so this, this article came up in a magazine that uh, runs mostly in Scandinavia. It has uh, 14,000 uh, copies, uh, and, and they are also big in Germany. Uh, so you can see some examples of the artworks that actually is being um, leveled in, with this project. Uh, so we managed to get some quotes by the illustrators themselves or brand owners, and that was quite hyping uh, because they, we, we got their attention. Uh, so we deci I decided to make a, a, a like a, um, a manifesto to actually uh, put in context uh, all the aspects that this project lays around. Uh, within those, of course. Uh, the fact that skateboarding comes from the street, there's a lot of uh, rebellion on it, and the graphics on it. Uh, so yeah, uh, a very fine piece of, of, of copy. Uh, so I decided, okay, I have all these things, but meanwhile the archive is online and accessible to people to actually go and get some information about these uh, pieces of work that has been done in the past, but today are still relevant. Uh, I have to make something, and I decided to make uh, uh, exhibitions out of it. And so I, I, I designed the, the, the frames where I could showcase them to people, and those frames had to have concrete on, on it, because concrete on skateboarding is key, and also wood. So I designed, I, I poured, I, 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 these are the actual, um, uh, yeah, frames and, and the, the stamps where I poured the concrete and made them. And this is the first exhibition that, that, that was uh, supported by Bastard. It's a brand that uh, stands, stands out in Italy. And, and this is, that's the press release uh, for this exhibition. Uh, so this is how it looks. Uh, and, and all the communication materials uh, was handled uh, with uh, relations to what we, I was doing. Um, this event was the main opener for the skateboard uh, Red Bull Week in Milan. Uh, so through that week, uh, Red Bull took over uh, the headquarters of Red Bull, which they have an amazing uh, uh, place, like infrastructure. Um, and they have events all over the, the, the week. Uh, but I figure out that the biggest challenges were uh, getting sponsors and um, in order to keep repeating this exhibition thing. But somehow somebody saw the, that event and called me uh, asking me if I wanted to repropose it in Padova uh, um, d 
during the vintage festival uh, that it's held yearly. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool uh, thing. This is the second uh, event. I create some posters and collaborations with illustrators. Thank you very much. A big applause.